Welcome to the MLB Home Run Betting Challenge, where I bet $1 on my favorite home run bets for the day. I've been doing this for 12 days, and I've had a lot of success doing so. Yesterday, specifically, I went 1-5 in five on my picks, so I ended up being down $2.50. But luckily, I'm still up for the entire 12 days, up $16.65, so 16 units I am up on these 12 days of betting home runs. For those of you million dollar unit bettors, you are up over $16 million, which is crazy. For today, I have five home run bets that have no shot of losing. Absolutely going to be the day where I go 5-0. and oh. If I do, you can obviously put them in a parlay to risk $1 to make like $1,800. Also, for the potential profit of today of $20.65 when all five of these hit. So, we can get right into it. Pick number one in the Marlins versus Rockies game. We are going with Brian De La Cruz to hit a home run that is plus 540 odds at FanDuel. Now, I immediately wanted to target this game. Playing in Coors Field, absolutely the juiciest weather imaginable for home runs to be hit. It's also pretty juicy pitching matchup as well. Sandy Alcantara is on the mound for the Marlins, who hasn't had a great year. We also have, and we're taking a Marlins hitter, to be clear, we also have a bad pitcher on the mound for the Rockies. Not sure how long he's going to go, but it's not like they have a studly bullpen as well. So getting a positive EV play at Coors Field for Brian De La Cruz, we absolutely love it. About a week ago, he hit a home run in back-to-back -back games, and he's got five on the year, but he's got a great opportunity to hit one tonight, and at plus 540 odds, we'll take it. Next up in the Cardinals versus Reds game, we are taking Nolan Arenado to hit a home run, plus 420 odds at Caesars. Now, this is another incredibly juicy game from a weather perspective. Actually, if we're just looking at the weather, it's actually the juiciest game four home runs to be hit, which just means that it's hot and the wind is blowing out, which is conducive for hitters, obviously. Now, Nolan Arenado had an insane stretch earlier in May, uh, earlier this month, where he hit a home run in five straight games, and he hit one in six of seven games. He hasn't hit a home run since that stretch, but that doesn't necessarily scare me off, right? He had an insane hot streak. He can easily pick that up again, and he's got a great opportunity to do so tonight. He's got nine home runs on the year overall, seven of which came in May. So I like him to keep his hot month going, get back to his home run ways, smash a monster dong for us tonight. Next up, I decided to stick in the same game, pick two in the Cardinals versus Reds game, and I went with Paul Goldschmidt to hit a home run, plus 320 odds at FanDuel. So this game is so good that I decided I just had to have multiple players in it. Normally, I try to limit myself to one player per game, but I just couldn't pass this up. Goldschmidt hit two yesterday, and I immediately started kicking myself for not including him on these home run bets. I was so mad at myself for not including Goldschmidt, so I decided to right that wrong tonight. Just because he hit two last night doesn't mean that I'm scared he's going to go cold today, because we all know hitters can go on hot streaks, and sometimes they're just seeing the ball well. So as I mentioned, he got two last night after he goes yard tonight. Next up in the Blue Jays versus Rays, we are going with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to hit a home run plus 475 odds at Caesars. So gonna off the bat, the immediate risk here is that McClanahan is pitching for the Rays. He's obviously a stud, but he's not completely infallible, right? You know, he's not someone that's just never gonna give up anything. He's a good pitcher, but he's still given up six home runs on the year. Now, I'm not expecting the Blue Jays to put up 20 plus runs like they did last night, but they do have an opportunity to get some runs. The weather is in the plus for home runs to be hit. It's not nearly the same level as Coors and uh, the Reds stadium, but still plus for home runs to be hit. Now, Vladimir has had 17 at-bats against uh, Shane McClanahan. He doesn't have a home run off of him, but he is batting just under 300. So he has had some success. It's not like McClanahan has just completely mowed down Vlad. So we're hoping for tonight, Vlad is going to continue that success against McClanahan, but just get a dong to go yard. So he is our fourth pick. Next up, our last pick of the day we have in the Astros versus Brewers game, Jordan Alvarez to hit a home run plus 310 odds at FanDuel. So part of my MLB home run betting strategy 
is if I see a positive expected value play on Jordan Alvarez, I bet it almost without thinking. Um, I've had him a couple times to hit a home run on this uh, betting challenge, and he's hit for us multiple times. Not 100% of the time, but he has hit for us multiple times. The Brewers do have a decent pitcher on the mound, but this is a plus weather game in Milwaukee as well. So that's also part of it. If it's a plus weather game where Jordan is hitting, you're going to want to bet on him. He hit two home runs in the same game two games ago, and he also has three in his last four. So for tonight, I love for him to continue that hot streak. Give us Jordan Alvarez to hit a home run, rounding out these five picks for today. So if you're tailing any and all of these five, comment and let me know. If there's somebody that you like to hit a home run that I missed, comment and let me know as well. Other than that, remember to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit me up at my Twitter handle you see on the screen here, at Jedi Modi. Thanks for watching and have a good one.